Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another episode with my very cheap V8 Jaguar S-Type from 1999. Now, in fact, if you did watch my last video on the channel where we went in depth through the amount of money that I've spent on this car in the relatively short period of time that I've owned it, well, cheap is a grossly inappropriate adjective. If you want to see that video and find out exactly how much money this car now owes me, go ahead and click in the top right hand side of the screen now and watch that video. Now, we have some very pressing issues to look at with this car, namely the unknown quantity of rust that's hiding somewhere underneath there, as well as a bunch of suspension issues. And I promise you we'll be getting to that very very soon however there is something else that's pretty vital to the way the car drives but also to its safety that i can actually do today and that is of course the tires so one thing that lots of people don't actually realize about tires is that they have a sort of best before date on them just like when you and i go and buy our eggs at waitrose because that's obviously where we all shop they sort of have a best before date and it's, it's more of a date of manufacture than it is a best before date, but you can see it on any one of your tires. So if you come alongside your tire and look very closely, you'll see some text which says, oh, that's not right. Subscribe to It's Joel, unless you're one of the 67% of viewers that have not done so already. Anyway, on a serious note, tires do get worn. And in this country, there's a legal limit at which the tread depth must be for the car to be deemed roadworthy and thus pass an MOT. Something actually, one thing that this Jag didn't fail on. However, my tires are still a little bit naughty. This one down here in particular, because if you do look very closely, in all seriousness, there are four numbers. And I believe where the car is parked, that's right, they're upside down currently on this tire. But you see there, 0108. So those four numbers, 0108, mean that this tire was manufactured on the first week of 2000 and eight, making these tires, well, 15, almost 15, well, more than 15 years old. The other rear tire is from week 34 of 2020, so not too much of an issue with good tread, although that's a Sportway 56, whatever that is. Then on the front, we've got yet another brand of tire, a Rapid, a Rapid Rapid. And the week of manufacture for this was, if I can look closely, week 01, of 2021 so this one again a bit newer with plenty of tread and on the other side if we just check really quickly yet another brand the sportway 56 just like that rear left and presumably this was done at the same time though as the first one what was that 3420 yes 34th week of 2020. so suffice to say then it's probably a good idea to get these tires replaced although three of the four of them are perfectly newish and they've got good tread you definitely don't want tires that are older than 10 years old and that rear right one definitely is and also it's just better to have matching tires now Goodyear have actually sent me out a fresh set of all season tires so they're going to be getting fitted to the car this afternoon and that's why I'm probably doing this before I address the rust because that's planned a little bit more in advance but I'm genuinely tremendously intrigued to see if brand new rubber on this car which is almost 25 years old can well improve the way it drives can it make a difference the way this car feels. These tires weren't even around when this car was manufactured, so I wonder if that latest rubber technology and being sort of matching all round and fresh will really improve the way this car handles and just feels on the road. So why don't we head over to the tire fitting center now, get these tires put on the car, and then I'll come back to you with an update on uh, how the car feels to drive. All right, let's get us started. I love this, always reminded of what you're driving as you get into the car, into drive, off we go. Now, it would be dishonest to say that the Jaguar S-Type was ever the most dynamic of cars in the world, but that's why potentially you wouldn't necessarily go for a performance tire like a Michelin Pilot Sport for this car. Tires are so much more about road noise, ride comfort, fuel economy, and they're the things that I'm more excited about with getting new tires for this car because this car is a car that I use and enjoy the most on longer journeys for cruising and for being comfortable. And so they're the differences I'm most interested in. Having said that, when you do find yourself on a nice little twisty bit of road, it's not half bad this car and it is 
properly, properly fast, this four litre V8. It doesn't really compute considering from the outside at least, this car looks a bit like a prehistoric relic. That low fuel level warning though is something you'd have to get used to if you decide to drive this car like that all the time. I realise that there's something a little bit naughty I should do really, isn't there, before I get rid of these tyres. Traction control off. Oh, that's quite a lot of smoke. <laughs> So here we are then at the tyre centre and as mentioned the rubber being fit to the Jag are the Goodyear Vector 4 Seasons tyres, the Generation 3s. Now this is an all weather tyre, it has an interesting directional tread pattern which is designed to reduce aquaplaning and it's also designed towards a preference of quietness and comfort over performance and grip which in my opinion I think are more suited to this Jag over a performance alternative. I do also use this car all year round so it should be really handy for the rest of these winter days as well as into spring and summer. Well, here we are then, new shoes on, and I'm out for a drive. Immediately, the ride feels softer. I think it's quieter too, but most of all, the car feels so much more balanced and controlled than it did before, and that's probably got quite a lot to do with the irregularity and the age of the previous tires, but it feels really great actually. This car is really starting to come along now as well, isn't it? I mean, it's great to know that I've got fresh, but also really safe rubber underneath the car now. And I feel like I can really start to enjoy it. Now, 99% of the time that I drive this car, the revs realistically don't surpass 2000 RPM. However, when you do decide to put your foot down, you're immediately reminded of that big four litre V8 engine block in front of you. It produces 280 horsepower. You always, you always forget that. It's a pretty significant amount of power given the time that this engine was created. But that 280 horsepower is going straight to the rear wheels and usually on a late winter's afternoon like this, it's pretty cold today, this car would be struggling to keep in a straight line when you floor it. But now with this new rubber, you can absolutely plant it anywhere. And I'm not getting any flashing or intervention from the, well, very antiquated traction control system that this car has. So the grip levels have majorly improved. There are various suspension clonks coming from the front, and I think there always was, but for whatever reason, they're more apparent now. But I'm choosing not to let that annoy me because I know that actually I'm going to be sorting them in the very, very near future. You might actually even see me, wait for it, you might even see me holding a spanner, yeah. But I have to say these Goodyears have made a world of difference just to the general feel of the car. The steering, dare I say, is lighter and yeah, more sensitive now. You feel, I can actually feel the front wheels through the steering wheel, which is not really a sensation I had with this car before. I feel much more comfortable leaning on the car through tighter corners now. It's very confident inspiring having these new tires. And although it's skewed by the sort of increase in knocks coming from the front suspension, Oh yeah, it definitely is smoother over lumps and bumps in the road too. It's dealing with them very well actually. Look on this fairly, this road's like the surface of the moon, yet yeah, it's dealing with them, taking it in its stride very nicely. It wasn't like that before. It was much more skittish and firm. Here's a nice right-hander, way! Now it did get a little bit loose there. Oh. What a thing. But actually, I must say, 60 miles an hour, when you quieten things down in here, we're just cruising along. It's pretty, I mean, I'm barely talking above a whisper. Very quiet in here too. I think that definitely has got better since those 
fresh tyres have been put on. It is funny, video by video and bit by bit, the drivability of this car is becoming better. It's getting getting to a level that I'm starting to be happy with now. And, you know, like I say, I feel like not only can I just lean on this car in terms of the way it now drives, but in terms of reliability as well, I think we're getting it to a point where I'm going to be far more comfortable actually enjoying and using this thing. Having said all that, you wouldn't know from watching this video, but as I came out to film, the battery was completely dead and uh, the alarm, I couldn't, I had to disconnect the battery to stop the alarm going off. Um, so that was a little bit embarrassing and I'm sure my neighbors weren't too pleased. So it's gonna need a new battery. I have been trickle charging it and all sorts of stuff, but I had to literally jump it to get it started for this video. So although I've got low fuel level, I'm absolutely not turning the engine off until I get home. So then, can brand new tyres transform a 24-year-old car? Well, yes they can. And so a huge thank you to Goodyear for sending out the tyres and for sponsoring today's video. And an even bigger thank you to you guys for watching because all of this wouldn't be possible without you. Now, if you are, and you'll have to check below, or should say red button, if you're one of my 67% of regular viewers that are not already subscribed to the channel, I really, really would appreciate it. If you could click that subscribe button now, and what that means is that you won't miss out on any future content. Another thing you can do is click the little bell icon and you'll literally get notified when the next upload is, which will be next week with this car. And well, let's hope for some more good news, but we're getting very, very close now to the beginning really of what is essentially going to be a mini restoration with this car. And like I said earlier, you might even see me holding a spanner. So if you don't wanna miss out on that guys, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you all very, very soon. Okay, well, you couldn't actually write this, but I'm genuinely at Waitrose now. Uh, it's dark outside, so we can't really see the tires, but I'm just picking up some bits and bobs before I go home. And then tomorrow, we'll come out and have a proper look at these and a uh, proper drive. They're looking really good. You can't beat the look of fresh rubber on a car. It's so satisfying and a slightly wider section. The ones that came off were 235 50, 17. These ones are 245 uh, 45, 17. So slightly uh, more rubber on there. Hello, people.